Aloha everyone and welcome back to our channel. You're watching Holo Holo Adventures. As you all can see, I am driving. As always, in a day in the life video, I'm always driving, right? <laughs> well, I just wanted to come on and actually turn on the camera and chit chat with you all because I actually missed this. I have not vlogged in the past month and it's because I've just been so crazy busy and I just haven't had the time or didn't even think to go vlog that I I need to. I don't know if that makes any sense to anybody but it's been so long and I do enjoy vlogging and you all seem to enjoy my random vlogs that I post and I realized that I haven't posted any vlogs in the past month and I think that you would all enjoy this so that's why I'm here I'm vlogging because I miss it I miss you all and I just miss I miss it you know flat out I miss it so it is another day I am currently driving to drop off paperwork I am working as you all know I have returned to work in the month of July full time again I took some time off the last couple of months but I'm back working full time however being back to work full time it is still different very different and taking a little bit more time to adjust to this new norm and I have to tell you it wasn't easy peasy it was hard I struggled so if you are new to the channel I am a working mom I work full-time outside of the home the company I do work for, we had been working at home during the couple months of the pandemic, but in the month of July, we have returned to the office part-time. So I do work part-time at the office and part-time at home. So today is actually a work at the office kind of day, but I service families and I have to be very flexible um, with my families and so today's one of those days where I even though I have to be in the office I did have to step out of the office to run errands for my families um, I do work in social services and I um, in a nutshell I help families um, get child care and then I provide comprehensive services so I just finished meeting up with my family. I am on my lunch break now. And so since I'm in Milani, which is another city that I'm not normally in, um, they actually have this place called Marie's Garden. I had a video um, about it in the past and I'll leave a link down below. But Marie's Garden is a local place where you can get organic goodies. and. You know, of all times, it's so important now to support local. And so I figured, you know, I'm in an area that I'm not normally at. And I normally don't come out here because I'm not normally in this area. So why not support local? And let's go. Let's go in Marie's Garden and get some fresh produce. Because I could actually get some lettuce and tomatoes for my salad because I actually don't have any right now at home so <laughs> let's go get some fresh produce from a local place here in Hawaii let's go so here we are at Marie's garden I've showed you all before like I said I've came here before I actually did a video on it in the past and it's just a really great place to come to get fresh produce and also if you are a plant person this is also a great place to get plants 
So if you're ever in Hawaii and you wanted to check out this place, come out to Melani for their goodies. They actually have succulents. You can see over there, they're succulents. Um, like anything mass required. So I just picked up some lettuce and tomatoes for my salad and I came out and I wanted to just show you all the pretty greenery. So if you like to do gardening and planting, which you all would know that I, I may have mentioned it here before, but I'm not a big gardener and a lot of times I don't know what a lot of these plants are. My husband always teases me because I don't know and he thinks that I should know, especially if a lot of these are local to Hawaii. I just don't know. <laughs> but, so, Marie's Garden, beautiful place to get your gardening items as well as your organic produce and local items. Check it out, Marie's Garden. Alright, so let's head out now. Gotta go back to the office, get some work done. It's been just crazy lately at work. It's a busy time for my program. And just, it's been hard. It's been such a busy time, lots of changes not for myself but for the families I serve so not only am I personally dealing with a lot of changes but I'm also trying to help my families who are going through changes trying to support them be there for them so it's just been a lot <laughs> trying to juggle between my own self the families I serve my work you know but we we make it work right as for me as a working mom you just learn to balance it you just do and you have to adapt to changes and I'm doing my best <laughs> I am I'm doing my best to the best of my abilities get through this we will so the last couple months have been such a whirlwind for my family here in Hawaii things started opening up late May and June and lots has happened during that so the month of June Kyra got into summer school she did that pretty much all month of June. In July, Kyra got into summer fun. So Kyra got to do summer fun. And now we are just awaiting for school to start. Kyra will be going to school Monday to Friday. Still up in the air on when school will start, but when it does start, she will be going to school Monday to Friday. Still trying to figure out the afternoon care part and because my husband and I are a working um, family we're both working and still need the care 
um, and the afternoon care too so we're hoping a plus will also be available my daughter mia she has preschool that has opened up for us in july so she did return in july fortunately I had my dad help us during these last couple months and he has been an amazing help for our family. And at least Mia will still continue to go to preschool. And yeah, that's just, that's what's been going on with my children. Obviously things are not the same. Work is still all over the place for both my husband and I. <sighs> definitely a struggle I mean for all working families families who have been affected by COVID whether it's getting laid off losing their job furloughed all all of it it's just it sucks I mean it's been months already and it doesn't look like things will get better I mean I'm not a Debbie Downer, I'm a very positive thinker, but I wouldn't be surprised if we're kind of doing this for a while. Here in Hawaii, we mandated masks as early as April, and we've been wearing masks. And it's crazy to hear that our state wants us not only to wear masks when we go to stores, but they're even asking or hoping we'd be wearing masks when we do anything outdoors, even if it's working out outdoors, enjoying anything outdoors, they want us to wear it pretty much at all times. And that part sucks. I mean, here in Hawaii, our gyms, they finally opened in June. And you didn't have to wear a mask when you're working out. And then a couple weeks afterwards, now they've mandated that you have to wear a mask even when you're working out. And just with all the changes, it's, it's a lot. It is a lot and it's very frustrating. I mean, I understand safety, you know, safety is number one, but it just sucks how much it changes everything and a lot of it will stay this way for a while and I think it's that realization and adapting to the change it's it's hard overall so how do I feel the month of July returning to work full-time Post this quarantine order it's still hard is it as hard as when we first left in April I mean we left in late March we're trying to get back to a new norm now it's still hard we're all still trying to figure it out and even now months later we're still trying to figure it out so I think the main thing is as long as we can adapt and be open to change. And I also need to remind myself that I need to adapt and be patient and and accept. So Thank you all for listening. I mean, I haven't said the full picture of how or what's going on, but I will soon. I will. So if you are not familiar, I do have a new video schedule. I post every Monday and Fridays. Right now, I've been having it at 7 a.m. Hawaii time. And that's only because I start work, give or take, either 7.30 in the morning or 8 o'clock. And so 7 a.m. Hawaii time just works 
well for me so that way I can be on the premiere to talk story with you all and chat. And then I also put it out there that if I'm able to, I will also do um, random bonus videos on the weekends. And so that is my new posting schedule. I hope that I could eventually record um, more and that I do have enough um, videos actually for a good month because I have videoed a lot of things in the past. Um, so you'll see a lot more videos coming near you and I hope to do more day in the life and vlog videos just because it's been a while and I actually do enjoy this kind of content. Um, I enjoy filming it and I enjoy watching it so be on the lookout you will see hopefully you'll see more day in the life videos and it's kind of hard to do videos of Hawaii just because there's so much things that it's just not the norm. I mean, I hope to do more hiking videos here in the future. I hope to do more food videos in the future, but like anything, we'll see.